and welcome to Butterflies and Things and today we're doing an unboxing. Um, hi, um, because world, um, I'm here, my sister's behind the camera, wave! <laughs> and we have, uh, I have I have ordered a doll uh, which is 3D printed uh, in resin from Ireland. It's very small and it arrived. There we go. Um, let's see how to get in there. The, um, it got a little squished so I'm hoping it's okay but the um, uh, artist assures me that they put an extra box around it so I should be okay. Um, did this arrive during the crisis? Um, actually this one was ordered the March 6th which was Ouch. like half a week before the crisis. Before the lockdown. <laughs> and it's from Ireland, so it's uh, it's actually quite... Uh, uh, they were quite uh, stiff in the uh, measures there and took quite a while, so um, okay. So it is... Are we talking weeks, months? Uh, it arrived uh, second week of September. So ah, that's yeah, all right. that's... that's all right. um, yeah, it's not what, what the artist planned, but you know, stuff yeah. happened. Uh, yes. So we have a thank you card. So it is all in Irish. Um, I have the cheat sheet here because I couldn't remember everything. The, the company is called Into the, uh, uh, Into the Deep and this is the butterfly version of the... Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dioin uh, Made Solas. I hope you pronounce it like that. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, a little fa a little um, insect doll, if you can call it that. They had a moth and they had a butterfly, and this is a special order that has the extra bumblebee, bumblebee, so life size bumblebee. So I'm I'm really curious. Yes, indeed. Peanuts, peanuts. La 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 la. <laughs> Artist is uh, also a resin doll artist. Uh, yes, um, uh, he, uh, he. I actually found out about him because he was advertising for printed dolls for um, uh, taking commissions on on printing stuff. He has a resin printer. So the print technique. Um, let me pass it on to the Hand assistant. Hand it off to the lovely assistant. <laughs> um, so it's printed, and the printed do printed parts uh, uses a, a system of layering in um, uh, uh, the, the the model is built up in layers on top of each other, uh, and the layers are so thin, especially for the resin type printer, uh, is so thin that you can hardly see it, and you can only you can you can't even. Some people say they can't feel it. <laughs> wow. So um, I'm a good hope this is going to be very smooth. It's not going to be as 100% smooth as uh, a cast doll because that's been sanded. I'm, I'm not sure if this one's going to be sanded. It is going to be completely strong. He, he did say in the listing that um, a special little bumblebee, don't restrain it because it's just so tiny and it's so perishable. I mean, the, 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 the material is so thin. Is that the right setup? <laughs> there is no right setup. <laughs> wow. So he he makes all of this himself? Uh, as far as I know, it's from Etsy, so I don't know. Let's okay. put it over there. Mm -hmm. So mine is the butterfly. So this is the... Um, okay, hold on a second. And that's the name of the butterfly. In That's butterfly in, in Irish. And we'll the, the other Irish one, <laughs> we'll let the Irish pronounce well, it. Yes, I'm gonna. I'll put it on underneath as well. And this is the moth. I didn't get the moth. I got the butterfly. So, so looks like it's all here. So I have n no reason to think there's going to be any kind of issue, which I was worried out with because the squashed box. Oh, come on! Ah. You know, good packaging really makes. Oh God, yes. And and there was yeah, extra. It's so pretty. Cute. Okay. Right. 
Uh, How long was this project? Do you, oh no, it was an Etsy, it wasn't a Kickstarter. It wasn't a Kickstarter, so basically he they are made to order, but uh, he um, uh, he had them all uh, finished and done to, to, I mean, the examples. Okay, so here we go. Oh. Mm. Uh, this is the extra bonus item, which is a quite big... <laughs> A bumblebee. Wow. And it has all moving Maybe parts. Maybe big, but it's it's very intricate. Mm, let's see what we can put that best. It has a moving wing. Let's take a look. Um, and the legs are actually attached, so they don't move, but the wings does, and it has a two part. Um, as you can see. It has a two-part uh, body, as you can see like that. Mm, yes. So even that, there is elastic strung in the inside. And the, the little legs, are they articulated or...? No, they're not. Uh, what's, they're the, what's the opposite word of articulated? <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Unarticulated? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, solid. Solid. Yeah, no, they're solid. So, very careful. They're very, very, very tiny. I think he did a lot of sanding because I'm going to take a close-up to, to my face. Um, yes. I think he did the sanding around, but it's it's beautiful. You can't see any lines at all. So. Yeah. Now, that's the little butterfly. Ah, she is naked. <laughs> So he says they're going to take like a five millimeter eyes. Whoa. So this is the range of the tiny, isn't it? Yeah, anything that's under 25 centimeters tall is a tiny. You look at oh, that. Oh, so cute. So four wing parts and they're all movable. And she has these, um, ah, these are movable. This no. is, I would not want to restrain this. I That's mean, seriously. Amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's got everything. Uh, it's not, unsurprisingly, it's single jointed. Ha ha. Yeah, because? <laughs> Explain that, please. Because that, I that if it was double jointed, that, that would be a really, really small part. <laughs> um, and the feet are attached. They're not jointed. Oh, that is so beautiful. Yeah, we'll have to see if it can stand as well. Um, that might be an issue. I actually Especially haven't seen... Especially with the wings. Uh, well, if it can support on the wings. Take this away. She can stand her on the wings. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, the, yes. Yeah, but she's standing on her wings right now. Um, the, he also has this... I think it's this body or something very similar. Um, uh, without wings, um, but maybe a size bigger. I, I didn't actually take note of that. So the shape was similar. It's in the similar style. But he—that's what style he does. Is is uh, mm. is these ladies with a little bit more on, on the bottom. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, pear shaped. Pear shaped, indeed. Yeah. Well, that's so lovely. What about uh, clothing? <laughs> and okay. Dare I even mention shoes? <laughs> uh, would be nice. Also, face up is I don't also know thick. what an elf would need shoes for. But no, I, I think this one I would probably um, do without a, a shoes. Uh, there's nothing that would fit right off the bat. You'd have to make something. Ditto for the clothing. I think this one's going to go naked. <laughs> yeah. um, I may have to think about a wig. Um, it looks like a um, circumference of about. <laughs> uh, about three, um, about maybe two, nay, not even that, uh, an inch and a half circumference. Yeah. And it already says in the listing that she needs a five, five eyes. So I'm going to have to find five eyes. Wow. <laughs> Size five. And um, can I actually get into it to put it in her head? Yep. It does have, oh, let me be very, very careful. I really not very good at fiddly stuff. Uh, yeah, well, it wouldn't be a Bolger and the Doll episode without fiddly stuff. Yeah, but usually I let you take care of that. 
<laughs> yeah. Yes, you're better and fitter than I am. Um, so it, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a, I'll zoom in. a, a ridge here for to take off the oh, head. Oh, yes, 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 it's visible. But um, um, I'm not sure if that's like a, can I see that? I don't see magnets, so it's probably some sort of trick, like a twist or whatever. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I really suck at this. Um, when we get um, in a situation where we can both be here, I'll, we'll, we'll put in some eyes in her. Yeah. But that's going to have to be <laughs> after and it works. And stringing as well. Actually, my close-ups are good enough to, if you want to show how it's strung, I think we can do okay. that. Okay. Um, should be in the usual way. <laughs> and I think he had problems here with it being so tiny. Uh, the the arms, the hands are not uh, separate either. So basically, the string starts here, and you can see the little uh, the metal thingy. Yeah. He had uh, the, the size, of course, makes it difficult for the bar, which takes quite a lot of pressure from stringing, to um, uh, to be out of resin. It's, it would have been like millimeter and a half cross and. So they put in ma metal bars, so there's a lot of work that he put in to make sure that it's actually... Have you ever had to do that for, um, uh, to get uh, a joint? Make a put in a metal bar? Yeah. No, I print much bigger, so I don't yeah. need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you leave the fiddly stuff <laughs> I, leave the fi I mean, you mean if, if, if I would m were to make something like, thi li like this, she'd be this big. <laughs> Like like her, I mean, she's already getting on the smaller side of what I what I would like to do, but she's so my size. But I couldn't yeah. when I saw this, I couldn't not do it. <laughs> oh no, this is this is absolutely awesome, and to find it on Etsy as well. Yeah, and then there was the the special offer of the of the bumblebee. You know, it was. Uh, is this usual to find something like this on Etsy? Uh, Etsy is a wondrous place, full of weird, the weird and uh, wonderful. And uh, there's people who make Baldrige and Doll stuff out of uh, paper clay and just yeah. once off and sells them. And there are people like like he, he like this guy who um, uh, who does 3D printing and and then really a lot of work afterwards because this is beautiful. Yeah. And um, there's people who who uh, it's near professional companies that are on there. So most of them are artists with with professional stuff. The companies are, are less likely to be on there. Shall I put her on my arm so you can see her better? Mm -hmm. See if she can sit. Can you sit? Of course she can sit. Come on, come in. Oh, so cute! <laughs> And basically, you could do it like an entire face up, a body up, and do the the wings as well. Yeah, I, I would want to do a body up. I think uh, instead of clothing, if you know, I think one could get away with that. Yeah, I like that he put the the wings in the white and the and the antenna mm. and, the, and the collar. Yeah, I and the rest was. I'm gonna uh, zoom in on the collar. Can you say something about that? Because it's um, unusual. It is unusual. I think it's just a loose piece that's been been cut, uh, been printed separately and then just like a necklace. Just uh, mm. so it's probably going to move if yeah. I can oh yeah, and I can now see the veins in the wings now that I've uh, got a close up of ridiculous. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, <coughs> this is how this such detail. Yeah, D does he do that by hand those veins or does it actually in the printing? Uh, uh, anything that isn't like that, straight, 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 mm -hmm. it's in the it, it's in the, in the sculpture, not in the printing. Wow! And I, I didn't see any lines, so um, he did a lot of work to um, to get rid of that. So that's a lot of um, handwork, diligently, softly, um, sanding. Uh, wow! Yeah, the, the lines from the printing should be very, very, uh, almost uh, in, invisible. And a little bit of sanding would help, but you'd have to do it properly, and he, I think he did. Or he got some other, way, um, some other way to do it, I'm not sure what the technique is, because I don't do this kind of printing. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, not 
not my size usually, but I really couldn't. Well, how can you resist? <laughs> how can you resist, indeed? Really. So cool. And I have to say, any doll looks better with elven ears. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> There are some things that are just always true. Yes, this is true. Yeah. Uh, she would look really cute with some eyes. What What do you have in mind for the eyes? Uh, it's going to be either a case of whatever I can get. Because of the size? Because of the size. Mm -hmm. um, or I have a friend who has a 3D uh, resin printer as well. And she does do eyes. Not usually that small, but I can maybe be able to persuade her. Um, or I can, uh, you basically you can, if you have a, a bead in the right uh, size and and, little, and, and some, uh, and a brush and some colors, you can actually make one yourself. <coughs> it's also an option. Yeah. But I think I would bits. go for something gleaming because I think that would go really well with the white wings. On the yeah, you maybe. Know, like silver or gold. Yeah, or 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 a vibrant blue, uh, yeah. like like this blue that's on the table, yeah. or or even a pink. Pink is surprisingly good for for. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just so that viewer knows what we're talking about. Yes. Yeah, um, uh, depends really on the prettiness of the eyes. I mm. mean the. the um, the artistry of the eyes in any color. So then, then, then becomes the search for the eyes. Then yeah. becomes the search for the body up or face up or. I'm gonna. So there's always a part two and a part three. <laughs> there's always a part two, a part three. Um, I uh, this guy. I don't think he actually gives uh, has a face up ability, but I always recommend any many anybody buys a doll, especially if it's yes. like a first doll, is get the face up from the company because yes. once you get it home, you have to if you want to do it after, you have to go and send it out again. Yeah. And uh, I'm not letting this one out of my house. I can tell you no, that one. <laughs> no, no, that's not going back in the mail. If I ever get a chance to go to another doll day, which ever, yes, ever, uh, this, this one, year not. <laughs> this year, probably next year not. This is going to be in my bag to get a face up. But I'm not letting this one out of my uh, no, perception. No, no, this. Uh, nope, 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 nope. And then I'll probably, if the person who does the face ups is 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 up for it, I'll probably ask them to do something oh, with the, yeah. the the oh the wings need something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, fortunately, we have some beautiful, uh, well, very good artists that make beautiful work. And yes, uh, um, uh, I hope Hazel uh, Aesthetics will be there mm -hmm. when we uh, when we go next. Um, I shall show it like this for a bit. Yeah. Can you maybe turn it around so we can see the back side? Yes. Okay. So this is one I learned from bigger dolls. Is you get it by the neck. Yeah. And then the pose doesn't really change. Nice. <sighs> oh, those wings. They are beautiful. Are they straight? Awesome. They're not straight. Ah, they're straight now. <laughs> And I like it that these move as well. Yeah, this is really cute. <laughs> yeah, this one. Um, yeah, I can see you couldn't resist. I had my pr pr faithfully promised myself I wouldn't be buying any dolls unless it was a unidoll, which is the last temptation I had. <laughs> and then, and then I just came along. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, no, that would be a no then. There are just moments where you shouldn't resist because temptation may not come your way again. <laughs> exactly, and then especially because it also had the realistic little bumblebee there as well. It's yeah, that's uh, really cute. And it kind of fits in with the revival of the Dark Crystal as well. Mm. Yeah, it's really in... I love him. He looks really... Re it looks like a real one. Ha. I can see the lines a little bit on this one. But I don't actually... Being somebody who also, also makes 3D prints, I don't actually mind the lines. Uh, you can just mm -hmm. see there's a, sand, a bit of sanding he missed. So that confirms that he, he did some I sanding. Think, I think it's, it's very personal though. I mean, some people really want to see the work on the doll and some people want to really see the doll. Um, yeah. So I think... Any which way. 
at that. Yes. So these are possible ways of uh, showing. Yeah, uh, this is this is his his concept. Um, uh, you can definitely um, take it as, hey, this is something you can do with it. Some some people like to do uh, make make a make a uh, representation of, of like something like this. Um, you can do your own thing. Um, I do want to give her some hair at some point. I'll have to think about it. I think probably eyes and hair is going to be number one priorities and face up whenever face up will happen. I like the. Uh the picture that you still got up, um, where the hair comes around the ears and mm -hmm. is really long, yeah, because it works very well with the big wings and the yeah. And I'm, I'm not quite sure if that's going to work for this size. I think I'm going to. I have think to you'd find be really lucky to find a wig that does that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, 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 this this sort of uh, a certain sort of hairstyle is usually in heavier hair. The, the heavier the hair, it, it the better it works, and. Um, I'm going to probably going to be ha happy with some some any kind of hair. Um, I may have to commission somebody. I, I may have an idea of how to commission. Yes. All right. So that's it basically. Yeah. Beautiful I'm gonna unboxing. Put her something very unusual all the way from my hand. Do you know if it's still available for people? Uh, the the special offer is not available anymore. Uh, it was actually sold out so quickly. I mean, I had like twenty minutes to decide. Whoa. <laughs> going. Ah! Shall I do this? Oh, so I went, okay, I'm going to do this. Because <laughs> uh, they really went fast. And um, um, But they did. Uh, this body is still av available in, in uh, possibly a larger size. Like I said, I didn't check it. Um, and I think there there was something else with wings on, on the side. I'll, I'll put it put it here or there or whatever. Um, so you can see it. Um, so there is... Yes, he still. Uh, he also has a newer doll that is a little bit bigger, I think. Very nice. Yes. Well, thank you for showing us this uh, very unusual and gorgeous creation. Yeah. And uh, and if you guys liked it, um, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye.